While the governor has repeatedly refused to implement that statewide mask mandate, he does tell us there is currently a 40 page plan to deploy vaccines in Tennessee. And the first doses are expected to arrive in Tennessee in three weeks. News Channel 5's Kyle Horan spoke to Governor Lee today about the state's plans to tackle vaccine distribution. And we're talking in just about two and a half weeks time. There could be some vaccines in the state that they will be distributing to health care workers and first responders. Now, this is big news because the first batch that we're getting in is going to be about 80,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine. That means they're going to start off their vaccine plan. Now, the way this is going to work is there are several phases to the plan, starting with phase one, which is those healthcare workers. Then it's going to move to phase two, moving to essential workers. So the state is ready for these vaccines to come in. And Pfizer is just the first set of vaccines to come in. There could be more, including from Moderna, which is expected just a week later. So we're talking about potentially over 100,000 people vaccinated before the end of the year. And then there could be even more vaccines introduced later on that will just increase the speed of those phases. Now, the goal here is to try to get to herd immunity, which will help bring down the amount of infections reported of coronavirus and will help keep people safe in the state. Now, news of these vaccines coming to the state is good news. However, there is going to be some issues with transporting and keeping these vaccines cold, okay? Because some of the hospitals are going to have to have these freezer units that are gonna come with the vaccines. They're gonna have to keep them under a certain temperature, at least for the Pfizer ones, before they're distributed. Also, we learned that these vaccines only last 14 days, which means that they'll have to get them out into the general public very quickly. Reporting, Kyle Harant, News Channel 5.